guys, Casper here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on spline masks. Alright, now first what you want to do to get the spline mask is go into the array tab and click on spline mask or click and hold and then, yeah. Alright, so then I'm going to show you the most basic way to use this tool. So I'm going to go into the spline tab, get a rectangle, get a circle. Then make the rectangle bigger than the circle. So just scale it up a little bit. Just gonna make it even. All right. Now drag the circle and the rectangle into inside of the spline mask. I'm sorry. All right. And it appears like the circle disappeared, but if you move the rectangle, we'll see the circle reappears. So pretty much what what's happening is the rectangle is covering up the circle. So if I put those in a lathe nerves, we'll see what's happening. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, so the lathe nerves is pretty much making the square a cylinder. And then it's pretty much just covering up the circle. Alright, but I want to change the mode of the spline mask. From A union B, A subtract B, so you can also see the differences. Square just kind of makes it do that, makes it grow and yeah and that's pretty much the same as A intersect B because you can also see it does the same thing alright but as you can also see if you render it out it's like a sol the, s the circle is a solid now you don't want a solid you want an actual sphere so what you want to do click on the circle click the ring and then up or higher the inner radius so it's like that alright then I'm just gonna add a material just so you guys can actually see I'm gonna add an ice material alright so if I render that you'll see that it just kinda looks like a bowl right now because the rectangle is halfway in but you can animate it too so I'm going uh, to put a keyframe for the rectangle, move up, keyframe, and then you can just also train, oh, whoops, sorry, I'm going to go down, keyframe, all right, move forward in the timeline, I always do that, all right, now that it's all in there, keyframe it, we'll let it stay there for a minute, keyframe it, go to the end, and keyframe it. Alright, so as you guys can see, the shape goes like that. It grows, but as you if you notice between 45 and 64 frames, it kind of just does that little movement, even though it's the same position. So if you want to click on the keyframe, change it to linear for both of them, you now see it's perfectly still. Alright, so we can also add another figure by control and then dragging down so I'm gonna change the color from that just make a quick like red material just drop it on there okay so it's pretty much keyed the same way so I'll push T on the keyboard scale it down so it's on the inside then you can see them grow at the same time and then do the same transition. So that's just a cool tip, and uh, yeah, so it only works with splines. That's the only thing, but it will work with splines after you make them, uh, if you add nerves to them. So that's pretty much my tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, make sure to like the video. It's just one click, it's not that much hard work, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.